life, the afterlife, I think that is. 70% believe in heaven, 57% believe in hell. So more people believe in heaven than hell, that's good. Um, Gallup, 98. 38% of Americans believe that the Bible is literal. 45% believe that it is inspired by God. And... Um, 13% of people think that it wasn't inspired by God. It's just some book that some people wrote. Um, literal Bible. Well, if you were to ask me, is the Bible literal? I would say yes. Bible, take the Bible literally, whatever. Just, just as long as you're allowed to interpret it yourself. Without somebody going, no, 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 no. It's what I say. Anyways, um, so... But yeah, I'm thinking the people who think that the Bible is literal are people who um, think that, you know, we were born 6,000 6, years ago and uh, there were these two humans who were the first and all this stuff, Adam and Eve. And that's a lot of people who aren't really um, looking at the big picture. Okay, another poll. 98 to 99 percent. Or in 1988, 1998, 99. 96 percent of Americans believe in God, so I guess the numbers are going up. 35 percent of Americans, according to CNN in 1990, believed in reincarnation. In 1991, it dropped down to 20 percent. Interesting. And then Gallup poll in 1998 says it was only 20%. So, so wow, you have less than a quarter of Americans, and maybe a little around a quarter of Americans, believe in reincarnation. So, I guess they believe in eternal. There's eternal he uh, heaven. You go to one place, which they never describe what it's like. Eternally, huh? <clears throat> or you just evaporate. So. I think reincarnation is just, uh, it's a fact. That's what I believe. So I guess Americans are confused people. This poll, I haven't looked at this for a while, but it's making me very, making me kind of realize that there's lots of silly, stupid people out there. But this is as of like, you know, 2000. That's kind of a while ago. People are getting smarter. Okay, so Harris poll is of 2000. 94% of people believe in God. So more and more people are believing in God because years before that it was only 89%. 89% believe in heaven. 86% believe in the resurrection of Christ. Wow. A lot of people believe that. Um, do I believe it? Um, sure. Certainly in the Bible I believe in all sorts of crazy shit. So <laughs> crazy stuff. Okay, 85... 86% of Americans believe in the immortal soul. It's the soul is immortal. Wow. So 14% of Americans think that when you die, your soul evaporates into nothingness. Well, I saw that 11% of Americans were atheists or agnostics, so that which meant that maybe. Then I decided later that 5% are atheists. So 5% are atheists, but 14% of Americans think that the soul is not eternal. Immortal. Um, I don't know how that adds up, um, but that's too many. That's not enough. I think that the soul is immortal. I guess people. Whew, it's scary. Okay, 85% believe in miracles, though, um, which is a lot. I'm kind of surprised. 82% virginity of Mary. 72% believe in the devil. 73% uh, believe in hell. 39% believe in ghosts. That's weird. I thought more Americans would believe in ghosts. I thought everybody believed in ghosts. Only 39%. Huh. Okay. 20% reincarnation. Well, that's consistent. God is all. All is God. 40%. Cool. Well, the numbers are growing. But it's still not enough. 60% of people think that God is either doesn't exist or is separate from us. Well, and most of us think that we believe in God, so... Most of those people, most people think that God is separate from us. Huh. So, tell me what God is. And why do you refer to him as a him, by the way? It's weird. 
Okay, so 62% of Americans think that the Holy Spirit is not an entity but a divine power. Huh, okay, sure. Uh, I believe it's a divine power. Um, but why can't it be an entity as well? Uh, why can't power be alive? Why can't it... Um, it's just people just def defining stuff, simple words, man, and just defining poles are, I guess, the fact that you can even, even, even conduct a pole like this just tells you that people don't think. They just say, okay, yeah, sure, I'll choose this. Oh, man, reading his polls is kind of making me grumpy about people. Anyways believes about supernatural entities. Let's see what Americans believe about supernatural entity. Okay. Beliefs about supernatural entity. I think this is according to... Man, I forgot to write where I got this down. Oh, wait. 13, 14, it's down here. Um, anyways, whatever. If you want to find it, go to my website and check it out. Um, okay. Okay. American population and born gunners. Um, okay. 96% of the American population think that God... believe in God or a universal spirit. So, 90% of Americans believe in God, but then if you say, or a universal spirit, you bump it up another 4%. So... Um, I guess there's people who out there, you know, a few people who just go, oh no, don't call it God, don't call it God. But that's cool, almost everybody believes that there's something out there. <laughs> and the other 4% just don't believe in anything. Okay, so no no doubt about who, about God, what God is. 63% of Americans uh, have no doubt that God is. Okay, that's cool. Um... So I guess a lot of people, a third of the people almost, will even the eye, but they still have their doubts. So whatever. Okay. 61% of Americans think that the Holy Spirit is a symbol of God's presence or power and not a living entity. Um, so 61% of Americans, but less, 55% of born-againers believe that. Um, okay. Well, see, I was raised Buddhist, so I don't really even know. I was never even told what the Holy Spirit was, but, uh, because we didn't learn religion in school, but, um, let's see, uh, huh, uh, symbol of God's presence or power, not a living entity. Symbol? So, what, is it like a pentagram flying around in the sky? What? Uh, that's, that's... Why can't it be a presence and a living entity? Why can't it? Why can't you have both? It's just silly. Okay, virgin birth. Ninety-three percent of Americans believe in virgin birth. That's just a lot. That's crazy. Thirty-nine percent believe that there is no resurrection. Well, I believe I can believe that. Thirty-five percent, a little bit less, believe. Uh, so born again is believe so. So. It's weird. It's similar. Normal Americans, the Christians, and then the born againers. I guess, well, which I guess would be the more conservative. It's around the same, so whatever. I guess, you know, born againer to me, though, is just somebody who wasn't Christian before and then they decided to become Christian. So, whether you're born Christian or you decide to become Christian later, I guess it's the same thing. Same beliefs. Jesus committed sins during ministry. 43% of Americans, 38% of born againers. Okay, um. Jesus committed sins during ministry? Well, everybody commits sins. So I would be one of those people, but I guess most Americans think that Jesus was totally flawless. So thinking that he's some kind of a god. He's a god. Okay, so 62% of Americans think Satan is a symbol, not a living entity. Um, and 52% of born againers. Okay. Um, well, that's a good question. You know, Satan, and it could be just a representation. I, I can be a, believe that. 
I would say Satan is a person, though, you know? Satan, if they're talking about some guy who fell out of the sky, maybe that's an actual story of something.